I'm John O'Brien, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Aurora Rocket vacuum bag. So I saw this used before, and I thought I would try it to see if it would work for me. So I ordered one, and it comes with uh, the uh, vinyl vacuum bag, a seal, it comes with a pump, and a breather net. Of course, I made this plumbing board, which I would put in the bottom of the bag, like this, okay, and then I'm going to take my two veneers, I'm going to glue these up on both sides, take the bundle tight, I'm going to put it between these two call boards, put the whole thing in the vacuum bag. I'm going to seal it with these pieces of PVC pipe, snap them together, and that will make a tight seal. And then I'm going to evacuate the air out of the bag with this pump. I put this over the one-way valve and start pumping out. And all the air will come out. And if I'm successful, all this air will be emptied out and it will put several thousand pounds of pressure on the uh, veneer and, uh, and secure it tightly to the board. So when, uh, when I get these pieces glued up and ready to put in, I will get back to you. Okay, so I have glued the veneer onto the piece of plywood and I'm about ready to put it in the bag for vacuuming. So I'm going to put this on this call. Put the top one on top of it. Se secure these with a couple of pieces of tape so they don't slide around. Okay, I have a nice little bundle here ready for pressing. Putting it in the bag on the plenum, putting the breather mesh over the board. I'm going to put the uh, the seal on it now. Put that under there. Put this on there. Start pressing this down. And now I'm going to start evacuating the air. So I'll keep doing this until all the air is out. I'm not going to bore you with uh, a couple of minutes of doing this, but when I'm all done, I'll get back to you. Okay, so you can see how the bag is tightened up around the, uh, the boards. It's getting more difficult to draw air out. Again, just about there. As you can see, it is completely, all the air is drawn out of the bag. It's completely sealed. And it is ready to sit here. In the bag for three hours, it'll do it. Pushing things at an hour, I've got plenty of time. I'm going to leave it in for three hours, take it out. And show you what it looks like then. Okay, mm -hmm. so it has been several hours, probably five hours, since uh, I pumped the air out of the bag. And uh, at this point in time, I'm going to uh, uh, release the vacuum. And by doing that, I have this little, um, come on down closer with that camera. I have this little valve here. And in order to uh, release the air, I just push that to the side and it allows air in. And then I can also just release this release here. Okay, back up a little bit. And then I can open it right up.
voila, we have our board all set to go. Now I can feel it's damp where the glue is pushed through the pores of the wood. So we'll let this dry overnight uh, before we sand it clean. And uh, when it's all done, I'll show you what it looks like with some finish on it. As you can see, I now have the board uh, completed, uh, trimmed, sanded, and finished. And uh, it came out really good. There's no pockets, there's no bubbles. The uh, vacuum bag sealed it very well, as well as the back side. Uh, so once again, I do recommend the Roar Rocket vacuum bag. So it's a great little system. I recommend you getting one.